Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to continue with the textbook content we introduced earlier. And this involves introducing chapter three of this book, which deals with scientific topics this time. Uh, these topics include plants and bees. Okay? So the objective of this chapter include the following. We have only one main objective of this chapter is to reflect background knowledge on scientific topics. These topics include conserving plants, which I think is going to be a very interesting topic. And the second scientific topic is about bees. OK, but before we proceed with this chapter, let's take a look at the vocabulary log of this chapter. The vocabulary log of this chapter includes words like project, background, horticulture, balance, conserving, biome, explore, structure, outdoor, landscape, gathered, nectar and experiment so let's move now to the first scientific topic which is going to be on conserving plants and for this purpose we take an example about such projects uh, this project called the eden project so what is eden project eden project is a conserving plants project okay which was established in the city of cornwall the uk the main uh, purpose of this project is to promote the understanding and responsible management of the vital relationship between plants, people, and resources leading to a sustainable future for all. So its objective is to, uh, to create a balance between people, plants, uh, and the resources in order to maintain our plants' property. So now, you are required to listen to a tour guide talk about the Eden Project. After listening, mark the one statement that is false. Okay, here we have three sentences. One of these sentences is false. The others are true. So please listen uh, to the tour guide and then try to answer these questions. Hello, everyone. I know many of you have come from far away to visit us here in Cornwall in England. So welcome to the Eden Project. To begin, let me give you a bit of background on the project. Our aim is to take horticulture, the science of growing fruits, plants and flowers, and blend it with art, science and education. We also work to find a balance between growing plants for our needs and conserving land worldwide. Overall, our aim is education, and uh, not just for people already interested in plants and horticulture, we want to make plant-based issues interesting to the ordinary person. We have 100,000 different plants here and 5,000 different species of plants. Oh, wow. Wow. I had no really? idea. That's amazing. Really, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I forgot to mention, feel free to ask questions at any time. Okay, you can see that we have some amazing gardens to walk around in. Three different areas, in fact, including the two biomes. The biomes are the clear domes that you see from here. We'll talk about the different areas, and then you can explore on your own. Uh, if you move closer to the map, you'll be able to see better. As you can see, we have three different areas with different kinds of plants in each area. One is the outdoor landscape, another is the warm temperate biome, and then the third is the humid tropics biome. Each biome has different sections with different types or categories of plants, whether it be plants for food, plants for use in making fiber, uh, clothes and things like that, and so on. There will be signs giving you information on each section. Let's talk about the outdoor landscape first. This has the natural landscapes and plants of temperate regions. This is like our region of Cornwall, like where we are now, and uh, really most of Britain as well as parts of Russia and parts of North and South America. This landscape will continue to, to change over time. And of course, the plants here 
change with the seasons too. Oh, it's quite a long walk down to the end of this section, but there is a train that runs from here at the visitor center. Any questions? Okay, uh, let's go on to the warm temperate biome. You can see it here on the map. Think of the regions of the Mediterranean for this one, as well as parts of uh, South Africa, Australia, and some of California in the United States. Plants in these regions have to live in difficult conditions, very dry, and usually the soil isn't very good. So would these plants include things like olive trees and citrus fruits? Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, let's talk about the second biome. This is the humid tropics biome. Think of tropical regions such as West Africa, Malaysia, and tropical South America. It's actually the largest biome in the world and has over 1,000 plant species in it. And of course, the temperatures are pretty warm in there, so bear that in mind. Can I ask how or where you got all these different plants? Yes, that's a good question. First of all, they weren't taken from the wild, and most of them are not rare. Many were grown from seed in our nursery here, and others came from botanic gardens or research centers around the world. Also, we consulted with people from the different regions represented here when we got plants. Okay, that's all. Thanks for coming, and enjoy exploring the Eden Project. I'll be around for a few minutes if there are any more questions. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. Was great. Okay, number one. Sentence number one, or statement number one. The Eden Project has gardens and educates people about horticulture. What do you think? Is it true or false? According to the audio track, this statement is true. Because the main purpose or the main objectives, as we said earlier, uh, of this project is to educate people about horticulture. Number two. There are four different landscape and garden areas. What do you think about this statement? Is it true or false? This statement is false. Because according to the audio track, they said we have three different landscape and garden areas, not four. The last one, the plants were not taken from the wild. Is this statement true or false? According to the audio track, this statement is true. 